I can't wait for Zero Guys to be on the trailer. <laughs> no, it it looks like there will be at least one, which is an improvement. That's like an infinite percent increase from previously. Are there any husbandos in particular that you would be interested in seeing? I know some people were saying Leon could be the silhouette. Please. I don't think I'd pull for any husbandos and probably no brides either. Would be the freebie so I can plus 10 him. That's fair. Like Marth last time. I want Husbando Brom <laughs> as the free unit. That would be a dream come true. I love Brom so much. That would be okay. Yeah, that was the other one that people were saying. Yeah, it could be Pent, which would make a lot of sense. So that's like one of my like soft predictions is a. Uh, uh, what do you call it? Pent and Louise. Groom Ike and Bride Soren. <laughs> but we just got those for Valentine's Day. My, my other predictions are like Bridal Church Key, since she's like one of the highest placing COYL characters that doesn't have an alt yet. If we get Bridal Church Key, then um, my plan to save orbs for Choose Your Legends 3 is uh, officially done. Yes. I lose it. <laughs> I lose at that point. Oh god damn it, I spoiled everything. Is this Tanith? I don't know who else it could be. Unless it's like from one of the earlier games and I don't recognize her. Pretty standard. Skill set. Guys, I'm sorry I forgot to skip past the intro. I usually remember to do that. So we, so I saw, like, the other characters, and I remember two of them. Oh, wow. Okay, yeah, so that was Tanith. Okay, and this is Sigrun. Why did they swap weapons? What is this? Oh, that's an AR skill. That's dumb. Uh, but there you go. I don't like it when alts for characters get in before the original characters, you know what I mean? But whatever. This looks like Art and Sacrifice. This is a generic weapon, so it can be inherited. She has air orders, which, uh, what Hinoka has right now. Two Tellius alts is kind of Monka S. I'm not gonna lie. And plus, they're on red and blue. We have a new C skill, and it's not exclusive, so you can inherit it. I'm not sure what that is, though. It looks like Quicken Pulse. He has a Whale Rally. Sorry. Do people really like Fjorm that much? Oh, she's a flying healer. Wait, I'm calling it now. She has, um, gray flyer duel. Oh, I was wrong, damn it. Okay, well, anyway. This looks like, uh... What is this? 50%. This looks weird. Oh, you know what it is? It's probably like like Martyr Plus or something. Okay, never mind. Um, This looks like a unique weapon. And this is some variation of Air Orders, which is interesting. We don't have one for each color, we have two blues. One red and one gray. Louise is here and she's free. Wow. Well, there you go. Yeah, so Tanith and Sigrun are from Tellius. Uh, can you see my cursor? You can, okay. Uh, Pent is from Fire Emblem 7 and Louise is also from 7. This is a pretty good banner. I'm glad they finally have a, um, a, a husbando on the banner. Also, one thing, like, we can go find the English trailer now. Let's uh, let's do that real quick. It's kind of bittersweet that like, like these are actually like four new characters that hadn't been in the game before, but they all got alts before they actually got into the game. If it's anything like Charlotte, they'll probably never get into the game otherwise. <laughs> 
The Just... lint on my outfit is none of your concern. Focus on battle, not bridal gowns. Lofty. I thought that said lofty bosom. <laughs> this is a cool weapon, though. It has um, Swiss Barrow built into it. That's neat. Its curtains is a little more, more fun and gimmicky, but whatever. I can't believe they put married people on the banner. Shocker. That does... Well, I, I would say it's a shocker because, right, freaking people don't want to uh, wail for characters that are already married. <laughs> Harsh command. Neutralizes target allies' penalties from skills like panic, threaten... Oh, okay. And negative status effects. Prevent counterattacks. That last three allies converts any penalties on target into out. So the only difference between this and Harsh Command 1 is that it has like the, it gets rid of the bad effects, which actually makes it way more useful because you can get rid of panic. This is like what Harsh Command should have been in the first place. Uh, otherwise, she's kind of boring. Is anybody else getting, like, a Three Houses vibe from Seagrin? And if not that, then, like, here. I am Seagrin. Anybody else feel like somebody just took the art for Seagrin and then, like, went into Photoshop and erased her face and then, like, used it as a Snapchat filter? Like, this looks, like, hyper-realistic relative to the rest of her art. It looks very strange. And suddenly a bride, it seems. If defending an ether raids, grants speed defense plus X during combat. Okay. I guess we're going to get all these on seasonals now. Yeah. Oh, they do color share, you're right. Well then, I mustn't leave my lovely bride waiting. I like how his art style seemingly get, um mimics like the Fire Emblem 7 character design art, you know what I mean? It's reminiscent of that. Okay, oh, Pulse Smoke. Inflict special cooldown count plus one on target and foes within two spaces of target after combat. This, this kind of sucks. No effect on special cooldown counts already at maximum. Th this kind of sucks. Oh, you know what, actually? That's the opposite of what I think it is. Okay, never mind. So, like, if you have Ether and it's at 5 cooldown, he can't add another one onto it to make it 6. I thought it was, like, if you have an Ether proc ready, he can't. Okay, never mind. So this is actually still good. I love Pimp, but I probably won't go too hard for him. It's cool that he's finally here. It's unfortunate that he's a, a horse calf, because that means he won't score as well, and it's not as... That's not exactly what he was originally, right? My brother and sisters could see me now. I would be very happy. Isn't she dying? <laughs> Wait. <laughs> You're supposed to be dead. No. Uh. Okay, I'm not gonna read that. Wait, was I supposed to go full screen? Oh, I was. Sorry. Calculates damage from staff like other weapons. So it has, so she comes with Wrathful and Dazzling by, de by default, which I guess is good. At start of turn, if foes HP less than units HP minus three and foes in cardinal direction, inflicts isolation on foe. That's a new, that's a new affliction. Is this the anti-dancer skill? Cannot use or be the target of assist skills through its next action. Target can neither use nor be the target of skills like that. Wow. I, okay. That's a pretty big deal, actually. I'm surprised that they're introducing it this way, though, and that it's not, like, one of these skills that you can inherit. At start of turn, grants the following status to adjacent infantry, armored, and cavalry allies. Unit can move to a space adjacent to any ally within two spaces.
But I like the animation. Who got the love on this banner? Yeah, Fjorm's art is really good. <laughs> like, clearly the best. <laughs> also Pence, for what it's worth. Also in terms of skills and stuff, yeah. I like Martellius characters, but like, I wish... I don't know. I wish they just put them in the pool. <laughs> Not as seasonals. Also, I wish they didn't swap weapons randomly. Because, like, now, like, we're never going to get these four characters in the actual summoning pool. Oh, well. Could have been worse. No kids. <laughs> no fate salt. Yeah, there we go. They've been doing a pretty good job after the Hot Springs banner. So, like, what? That's four months of not doing a, a bad banner. <laughs> Because <laughs> for the spring banner, oh, well, I guess for the spring banner we did get like two OCs on that, which was kind of weird. But otherwise we got Marissa and uh, Paula. We finally get an anti-dancer weapon, and it's on a seasonal flying staff. What a world! It happened correctly. Disqualify Louise for Farfetch? Yeah, that is an interesting point because you know what? They probably they probably planned the Bridal Alt before Choose Your Legends 3, so that was before Louise got a bunch of votes from Mangs. So I think she actually could be on Farfetch'd. They would be planning that banner right about now, I guess? I don't know, maybe that would disqualify her. But I'm, I'm optimistic. It would upset people who waifu her. <laughs> That's actually a decent point. I mean, the fact that they're married is like a significant part of their character, so I think they'll have to mention it a bunch. I like one of the defining characteristics of them is the fact that they're married. I would love it if Louise's art or er, dialogue is just like, wow, you're almost as good <laughs> as Pent. You're almost as smart as Pent. Just to really emphasize how hard Pent is cucking you if you like Louise. More Tellius character. You know, I, I just realized we we've been getting a bunch of Tellius characters. Like they're not letting up at all. We just got two more. Like two new heroes banners ago was freaking Galia. I'm telling you, they're bullying Tellius fans. They're not gonna let up ever. Yeah, I would say recently they're biased towards Tellius. Like, I feel like you can you can integrate Tellius without, like, bombarding us one banner after another. Yeah, the weird, like, the influx of, like, female free units is weird. Like, we were just getting cynical about all the free units being male, and then they switched it. So now they're all female. Seemingly. Alright, let's take a look at Penn's skills again, because that came up. Oh, he has pull smoke at least. That's new. Yeah, that's weird. <laughs> new hero's banner has four alts. Five alts, actually, if you count Delphia. Game sucks. 